In today's video, I want to talk about Polaroid's failed attempt at getting into the disposable camera market. The pop shot. Let's get into it. You know the type of guy that was a jock in high school but ended up becoming a huge nerd? You know, someone that's not afraid to make a fool of themselves on the internet. And someone that likes to shoot Polaroid a little too much. Did I say huge nerd? You know, just an ordinary, everyday guy. Well, that's me. I'm just another Chris. Introducing Polaroid Pop Shots, the 10 shot one time use instant camera. Polaroid Pop Shots, see what develops. First things first, I want to give a huge shout out to Dave Knopp over on the Knopp Top YouTube channel for popping this bad boy on over for me to check out. I had actually never heard of this thing. Honestly, a pretty sweet idea and I wish it worked out for Polaroid on this. So the whole concept of this camera was obviously to compete with the disposable cameras of the 90s. 90s were kind of the uprise of the disposable camera era. And I'm talking about you know, the 35 millimeter point and shoot cameras. So in the late 90s, Polaroid put these out. Uh, this one happened to expire March of 2000. So nearly 22 years ago. So the chances of this thing working are extremely slim to none, but you know, we're gonna give that a shot in just a second. The photos of this actually produced were the Captiva film or AKA the 500 film. You know, the kind of like the Instax looking Polaroid film of the day has the two thick borders on the sides. Um, and it's honestly an interesting format and it'd be really cool to see it come back one day, but that's not what we're talking about right now. So once you open this, there's a couple things inside. Um, you get a little mail-in rebate for $4 off your next camera, plus a $2 coupon when you recycle. Nice. Dang, this expired August 31st of 1999. This actually expired before this did. Interesting. And other than the camera, you get a mailer to send it back. Prepaid, by the way. They wanted you to recycle these and send them back so they can reuse them. It's a really cool concept of the day. Honestly, I'm surprised this didn't really catch on. It's actually a really cool concept that I, that I hope Polaroid maybe one day revisits. You don't even have to buy a camera. You just buy this, take your pictures, and then you're done with it. You just drop the camera off in the mail, and then you're done. So I'm super curious to see if this even works. I don't have any high expectations of this working. So I have to actually stop over at my parents' house real quick. So while I'm there, I'm going to pop off some shots of uh, the doggos and see if I can get anything. Hopefully some of these photos still work. <laughs> uh, yeah, it doesn't actually work. <laughs> these photos are of the same film type though, uh, except these are the ones that come out of that camera. As you can see, there's a glaring difference. Uh, and one being the fact that it actually has a photo on it. But these I found in my family's album. I remember as a kid, my brother getting a Polaroid Joy Cam and it uses this film. And he took these photos when we were a kid. His name was Boone. I miss that dog, he was so cool. Uh, but yeah. It was Boone's third birthday. It was his birthday that day. There he is, there's a little Boone. Oh, uh, oh Boone, I miss you, buddy. Well, this is gonna be pretty much exactly what you would have gotten from this camera. I can only imagine it being the same just because of the plastic lens and the joy cam was pretty much the same quality of a disposable camera in comparison to this one. So after the first couple of shots like this I got, I was like, yeah, there's no way I'm gonna get any more photos out of this. But that didn't stop me from trying. I still went outside, walked around, shot some stuff. It was freezing cold. Do not let that sun fool you. It was like 40 degrees outside. I was trying to take these photos but none of them came out, unfortunately. This has the feel of exactly like a disposable 35 millimeter camera would. It actually even kind of resembles Kodak, the way the branding is and the colors. It just reminds me of a Kodak camera. You get 10 shots with this and they're instant photos. So you got them right there on the spot. And then you have two options as far as taking your pictures. You have an indoor mode and an outdoor mode and it came with a flash. And that was it. The way to operate the camera was so simple. You just choose your option and then you take your picture it looks like the battery is still working. 
<laughs> it's actually flashing up. It wasn't working earlier when I was trying this out. You can hear a buzzing sound. Nothing. But the way you do it is you just point, push the button, and then the flash would go off, and then you have this little tab right here on the side, and then you just pull it out just like so. But as you can see, it's, it's dead media. It's a, uh, yeah, a little done. And it kind of looks like it's burnt. A lot of these have been coming out that way. I thought it was because of the dead battery inside. It corroded and got on here and it, and that caused it to like burn the pictures a little bit, but it's still lighting up. Like the battery still has some charge. So I don't know what's going on with that. And here's the kicker. There was a give and take in the pricing of this. If you didn't want to buy a camera yourself and you just wanted to take a, you know, some photos a couple of times, then it's a really cost efficient way to, to have done it. If you're looking to try and do more photos of the same format, you know, multiple times, it's not that um, cost effective. This thing was around $20 back in the day. So you were paying a right around $2 a picture, which is actually still cheaper than what you pay now for photos from Polaroid. I digress. It was still cost effective though if you were just trying to do it you know, a couple times. It's great. You don't have to buy a camera. I applied Polaroid in trying to find a unique way to compete with the disposable camera world and you know try and revitalize their own company back then because they were on the start of the decline you know right around the end of the, the 90s and early 2000s so this was a really cool way to try and keep up but unfortunately it failed and it didn't last very long i don't know how long it ended up going for but i think it was only around for a couple of years at most but it's a neat little history piece that i'm going to be sticking on my shelf it's it's pretty cool and just want to shout out Dave again. Thank you for sending this over. I had fun researching this and learning a lot more about it. I had not seen one of these uh, before. So thank you for bringing this to my attention. And it was a blast learning and attempting to try and shoot with it. So if you guys see these laying around, don't pay a lot of money for them. I do see them pop up on eBay. They're like 20 to $50. I mean, if you want one just to have a piece of history to put on your shelf, then yeah, you know, by, by all means, pick one up. But don't pick one up expecting it to work. It's it's a, it's not going to. So don't bother trying to get photos out of this thing. And if you guys want to dive even deeper and maybe get some stuff shipped to your door monthly, consider becoming a print club member or just check out the Patreon page. Help support the channel and other cool stuff. Thank you guys again so much. And I'll see you in the next video. Now, get out there. Make some art. Maybe pop some shots. Pop shots. It's like the hot pockets. Pop shots. Doesn't doesn't have the same ring to it.